Well, one of the largest and oldest Japanese festivals returned to the Missouri Botanical Garden this weekend. It drew in thousands of people despite some rain. Following your size, Laura Bacheski shows us inside the decades long tradition. The Missouri Botanical Garden celebrated the 45th Japanese festival over Labor Day weekend. It's home to one of the largest Japanese gardens in the country. This festival is actually a thank you to the St. Louis community from the Japanese American community because of internment. We had 40 families jump off the train when they were coming through St. Louis to relocate and of all the cities they stopped out on the train ride, St. Louis was the only one to welcome them. To kick things off, the Omakoshi Shrine made its way through the grounds. It is a 400 pound lacquered piece of hand carved artwork. It's made out of wood. Mitzi Hedgecock with St. Louis Okinawa Kenjin Kaesa says it's so important to her and her family to share their culture and celebrate with the community. Okinawa is a small island, so it's kind of similar to what Hawaii is to America. Okinawa is to Japan, so we have a unique culture and the Asa dance celebrates that. So it helps bring um, our our members together, but it also shares our community. At their booth, they sell lots of origami and handmade items so people can take a little piece of what they learned home with them. It's nice to get something handmade um, and it supports just us locally as well. So it helps build our community together um, and it supports us being able to um, share our culture with one another and all the attendees as well. Reporting in St. Louis, Laura Barcheski, Five on Your Side. And guests can enjoy the festival at Missouri Botanical Garden all weekend. The festival continues until 8 o'clock today and runs from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. and 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. on Sunday and Monday.